Good morning. Spring and summer is here. It is a gorgeous sunny day in May. Uh, there are some orange people there. I'm one of them. Yes, we're in sweaty PPE on this warm day at the HS2 site in the Colne Valley. Uh, up here is a previous video where we looked at the tunnel boring machines, but to the south, heading towards London, uh, there is a rather long viaduct being built across the Colne Valley. Let's go and have a look around and an explore. So first let's get ourselves orientated where we are with a map, because maps are always the best thing for this type of video. We're on the border of Greater London and Buckinghamshire, just inside the M25, and coming south it actually starts inside Buckinghamshire and then takes you into London as the border runs down this western side of the large stretches of water that are here. We're going on site to have a look after a quick safety briefing that is. It's not my first time here. This is Rob. Do you remember what happened last time I was here, Rob? Yeah, you didn't quite put your PP on the we, right way, did you? I got in trouble in the YouTube comments because I put my gloves on the wrong way round and did. everybody took delight in telling me. So this bit goes on the inside. It goes on the inside. So, if I get, so it's like that. Yeah. That's yeah. on the inside of the hand. Yeah. You promise me that's correct. I promise you that's correct. It actually doesn't say right and left. <laughs> should, we should get a big no, black marker pen and do an L and R. It's no, you're good to go. Am I, you sure? Yeah, uh, this is all on you. Yeah, you're happy to that's go. On, if good that's go. wrong, good thank you, thank you. Right, and next up, let's get some specs on the viaduct. All right, we're off to see some uh, exciting stuff. Uh, to do that, we've got to get a minibus. I think as we did last time, because the site is so large. So as I uh, ride in this minibus, let's have an overview from someone who knows what they're talking about as to what the heck is going on here. So the viaduct is 3.4 kilometers long. It will be one of the longest railway bridges in the UK. Um, it starts from about a kilometer away, heading south towards London from here. At this particular site, we've got two factories. And in terms of the viaduct, we've got the deck segment factory, which is pre-cost sections of the deck itself. Um, it's just behind us. We've got three batching plants, concrete batching plants. Uh, most of our piers are constructed, um, short of about eight or nine, where we are currently working. The viaduct itself, we've got 1.2 kilometers of the deck erected. Um, of the 3.4 kilometers of the total deck. So we're making really, really good progress at the moment. In the van, it was time to chat some more to Rob as we head to the site. Rob said, Rob, on the way here in the taxi, I saw a bit that had been, we, we, we're seeing it now, there's a bit here now. So how much has been built, complete so far, and how much is so yet to be done? So at the moment of the deck, at the moment of the deck, we've, we've, com we've constructed about one kilometer of a total of 3.4 kilometers of the deck. Means what do you mean by deck? The deck, well, basically we're creating 56 piers to make the viaduct, and then using a launching girder that you, we'll show you later, that we're, we're putting the yeah. deck segments on, and we have a thousand deck segments to be put in place in total. We put in place about 350, which equates to about just over a kilometer of deck so far. Okay. And this is this is it here now. Look. This is it. Yeah. This is fine. And you can see the different segments, and you can see the depth of the segments changes as you approach as you approach a pier. And the piers you're seeing now are sort of more standard upright piers. And then when it goes over the lakes, they become V piers to allow to reflect the fact of what the architect wanted to deliver, which was the effect of a stone skimming across the surface. Hats on, specs are on, blue hat, white hat, even a black hat, lots of different coloured hats. And uh, oh look, look what we found. This is very impressive. Rob, what have we got here? So what we've got is we've got a launching girder. The launching girder is basically making its way from one pier to the next. And as it comes down, it's actually putting the deck segments in either side of the piers from one to the next, making its way from north to south across the Colne Valley. Have you paused it today for our press trip or is this in action? Right no, now? it's in action, but you won't be, you won't be surprised to know, bearing in mind that the deck segments are 140 tonnes each. Okay. It actually takes the time and if you look carefully, you can see that they're lowering a deck segment at the back there. Okay, and then it slowly moves. Then, then once it, when it's either side of the pier, once it's basically made the section that juts out to halfway across, it will then move to the next pier and then it will build the other half of the arch, if that makes sense. It's like a motorway, you know, if you didn't know it was a railway, you'd think that was some sort of complicated spaghetti junction, you know, and cars are going to be here. That's what it reminds me of. Okay. But it, but, no. but, <laughs> but it's, it reminds it's, uh, me of a cool bridge. Um, there we go. And we're, I'm conscious of well that we're standing above water right now, so you must have built some kind of jetty or yeah, pontoon. So, so what we've done is to keep all the haul traffic off local roads, the first thing we did was we built a series of four jetties basically across the Colne Valley across, and, and across the rivers in the Colne Valley. This means that all the construction traffic stays on these jetties 
whilst we're building the, the bridge without going in the local community. And then when we've built the bridge, all these jetties will be removed. Marvellous. Thank you. Pleasure. The spans are 80 metres in length and around 10 metres off of ground level, lower than you might expect. And strangely enough, there's exactly 1,000 of them in total. And up close, it's yet again easy to get an impression of the vast size and scale of this construction project. And just time to catch up on where we were before with the tunnel boring machine's access point and their progress. Alistair. Hi. Hello. How's the TBMs going? What's this new bit down here that I can see? Well, the TBMs are doing really well. Uh, we're more than halfway through. Uh, they are somewhere near Little Missenden at the moment. Uh, yeah, we can see the, uh, the porous portals starting to be... Uh, yeah. Just say that again, the porous portal. Porous portals. Which is what? It's a tunnel portal, but it's porous. So it's almost like a hood that extends out uh, over the lines as they come out into the open air. And this is to do with the air pressure yeah. of the tunnel, right? Could you explain more? Yeah. So uh, when a train passes through a, uh, through a tunnel, it's a bit like a, a piston effect, pushes a lot of air in front of it as it goes, faster it goes, the more, the more air you, you have um, going ahead of you, just like on the tube, you get that rush of hot air, don't you, as the train comes into the platform. Yeah. Um, at this sort of speed, at 360 kilometres an hour, that can also create a lot of noise as the train exits the tunnel, and as a result, we build these porous portals that will allow the air pressure to dissipate on either side instead right, of just right. being... So if you didn't forward. build these, then what sort of issues would you have? Well, um, on the Japanese high-speed rail network, when they first, a uh, couple of decades ago, they started having a sort of, almost sort of sonic boom type effect wow. from air pressure exiting tunnels that weren't wide enough. So we're going to build our tunnels wider, Okay. So there's plenty of space around the train and also these porous portals All at right. either end. So thanks to HST for the site visit. We've got another one planned soon to look at the construction of the box and new station that's being built at Old Oak Common. And that, oh look, hat hair, that is the visit to my latest visit. There's a playlist actually coming up, I'll do a link to it next, of all my HS2 videos so far, but that is to look at the Colm Valley Viaduct, uh, which is being built, a magnificent structure and just part of the magnificence that is the whole HS2 scheme. Thanks for watching, see you again next time, press subscribe, thanks a lot.